Hey, are you recording? It's recording. All right, guys, so this has been obviously a crazy thing for all of us, being in Miami in December. Gru, what do you want to say about this? What's your guys' Miami impression this year? I love Miami. Would you live here? Live here? Yeah. I mean, I would if... Uh, you had a mansion? Yeah, I hope you showed a little bit of the villa yesterday. Yeah, I think I that I also just told Isaac that was a super nice piece of land <laughs> because it was facing how do you call it like the, the kind of the wall off Brenda would you live in Miami I don't think I would but I would like to live somewhere that had a Joe and the Juice close to my house also can I just say something about that why does Joe and the Juice have a comeback because we also we go there literally we didn't go for like five years and now we go every okay. single day what, the what do you say well I stopped going because the one in Soho was just filled with these Russian promoter guys who were picking up model girls to take to the club. Add Joe and the Juice. Add Joe and the Juice and so, and so I was like, yeah, I don't think it's really the place for me. Jürgen and I were saying, why are coffee shops... A lot of them. ...always so filthy? I don't get it. It's Because the insane turnover of people, because there's like 500 people going in every like three hours in New York City. But the one good thing about the Soho, uh, the Soho John the Jews is that it's an amazing bathroom. If you come out of the Spring Street subway sixth uh, station <laughs> and you really need to pee, John the Juice is the spot. That's such a New York insider tip. Doesn't get more New York insidery than that. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Someone made a list of all the bathrooms yeah, 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 yeah. in Manhattan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's everyone the has their secret spots, like this fancy hotel, you just go to the nice bathroom, oh no one God. says anything. When I go into a hotel to the bathroom, I always feel like I'm doing a big crime. <laughs> and you know, you have to play it cool, like, okay, I'm a guest here, I belong here, but I always feel like I do something highly illegal. But it works much better if you go with enough confidence. I, I remember the first days we tried it. We just checked out, we're just waiting for our airport, yeah, like, we're yeah, just yeah. waiting for the car. And they're like, what's out. the name? <laughs> And I'm oh like, what's your name? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you for this great uh, impression Isaac of Miami. Interviews. Isaac, you should become an interviewer, so now we can test your... Skill. Exactly. Isaac, actually, that's his, kind of like a profession of his. You should go check it out. Isaac likes on TikTok, Instagram. Go subscribe. Show all the love. He likes you. You like him. I like you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what is your favorite non-famous, non-tourist trap place that you've been to in Miami? Joe and the Juice? Uh, Joe and the Juice is too famous, it's a franchise, it's a chain. Followed by Pura Vida. <laughs> 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 and then, I mean, for me it's probably the, the VIP thing of Art Basel. Just kidding. I feel like every time we're here, we're here on such a schedule that we don't get to see like cool places. Have you eaten at Macchialina or Mandolin? Oh my god, both are so amazing. Maculina is this Italian restaurant here on the beach. It's incredible and Mandolin is a Mediterranean restaurant in the design district and it's consistently rated the number one restaurant in Miami and it is incredible. Why didn't you take us? Why did you not take me? Because I didn't know about it. Also, for the record, Carbon is the number one. <laughs> Mandolin was supposed to go into the Soho Beach House here, but what's the restaurant that's in the Soho Beach House? The Chichonis. Yeah, yeah, Chichonis. But it was supposed to be Mandolin, and then they were going to franchise Mandolin around the world at every Soho house, right? And then the owner cut the deal despite the fact he was going to make so much money from it because he said that we cannot guarantee that the food is going to taste as good as it does at the original location. So he stopped it. That's wow. what, yeah. A principled king. We love a principal king. Are they affiliated with the Mandarin? No. Okay. A mandarin is a fruit, a mandolin is a musical instrument. Ah, that's... I always wondered, actually. It's like a very old-school guitar. Oh. Can you show us what sound it makes? <laughs> if you weren't in music or Art. content creation, what industry would you be in? Hospitality. I'd probably own a cafe. Oh, I love that. Like something like that place where we always go to yeah. in New York. <laughs> Join the juice. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Which brand do you guys think uh, people spend the most amount of money at during Art Basel this week? Probably <laughs> Philip Klein <laughs> in Miami. I would think so. It's that or Dolce Gabbana, maybe? Oh yeah, I think Dolce. Really? More than Chanel? More than Chrome Hearts? 
guys, definitely Chanel. Because yesterday at the art fair, I saw so many people in Chanel, and I think it's like a art thing. You wear Chanel. Do you guys put sunscreen? SPF 50 every day. Nice. I don't think I've ever been to the Chrome Heart store here. It's of course, nice. we are Chrome Hearts victims. We go all the time, but only if Tamara and Philippe are in town. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, but they are really obsessed with it, so then you follow and then you also get, like, they suck you in and then you're... But it's funny because if they're, like, if they're not around, I don't have a lot of interest. How much do you think a VIC has to spend at Chrome Hearts? 500k. I would say, yeah, maybe 300, 400. I was on a flight with, uh, with, um, What's it, Mr. Stark's name? Richard. Uh, Richard. Yeah, I was on a flight with him the other day. Uh, he was on my flight from Paris to New York. I was like, look, he was standing next to me at the baggage claim, and I was like, oh wow, that guy's wearing a lot of chrome hearts. And I was like, like, I wonder. Are you a fan? No, I was like, I wonder who he is. And then I went home and was telling somebody, and somebody was like, oh, it was probably Richard Stark. I was like, no, and I googled. I was like, yep, it was. <laughs> really? Oh, you should have said something. I didn't know. I, I found out when I got home. <laughs> and tried to go on the same flight. from riding his motorcycle. Really? He's what? Years. Almost deaf from riding his motorcycle really? without a helmet. For like How do you know? Years. He's just like me, just for here. real. Yeah. Wow, I think yeah. he's a legend. Yeah. What was the biggest letdown you've ever experienced? I know that I didn't want to meet Rick Owens for like two years oh. because I was afraid he was going to be a letdown. But he was a, he was let, a let, let up. Let up. <laughs> yes. he, was a, he lied about <laughs> What was the thing that surprised you about Rick Owens the most? Uh, he's super funny. Oh, he has humor. Yeah. What type of humor is it? Like dry? I feel like it's dry. No, anything gossip. I don't oh. know. But it's a stereotype. You know, people dress in black that they're like sad or super sarcastic. No. You know, he's super funny. Yeah, I get that. Like very joyful. Oh. Is he like a happy person? Yeah, just like me. Oh. Our funny, happy goth queens and kings. Isaac, what was your <laughs> biggest letdown? Who have I met that was a let? Oh, no, the one. It wasn't really a letdown, but it was it was kind of funny because it was very in character. But I um, walked past Roman from uh, Succession the other day yeah. on the street, and I was like, and I he was walking past me, and I was like, "Yo, dude, I'm such a fan." And he looked at me, and he was just like, Ugh. Oh. <laughs> "Classic Roman." Kept walking, and it was so in character of the show, but I was also so cunty that I was like, "Holy shit!" I like didn't know whether to be angry or impressed. Maybe it was method acting. No, I think he's, he's stuck in his character. Yeah. Because I read this a lot about so actors. He doesn't want to be known for his one role or something. <laughs> you, my favorite story uh, somebody's ever had was um, when Robert De Niro was hosting uh, Saturday Night Live. And he had to sit in one of the offices before he went on stage. And the guy whose office it was is like sitting across the table from him. And he's like, holy shit, I'm sitting opposite Robert De Niro. So he's like, oh, so, um, you know, like I've been a big fan my whole life. You know, how are you doing today? And Robert De Niro goes, we don't need to talk. <laughs> fair, fair. I just watched him in The Intern. Mm. Have you seen it? And I'm like, oh my god, he's so sweet and so kind. He has to be like this in real life. So I googled it and he's not like that. Oh, I think that he's... I, I, I've never heard that he's not a nice guy. But like, do people always have to be in a good mood? Yeah, I don't think so. By the way, I wanted to talk about this because I was in a really bad mood this morning. That does not sound like you. Yeah, that's really out of character. And then I was thinking about why, why that is. So yesterday our event started at 6, so from 6 to midnight I didn't have food because these events never have proper food. And if you work in events or you are a PR, please make sure there is food at events and it's not small tiny bar, it's because we all want pizza and fries, it's like... Do you know what's insane when they say they invite you to dinner oh. and then the orders is carried around Ooh, finger food? Oh yeah, by the way, I think you need to explain to people that in German, what we call finger food in English, you guys call flying food. Yeah, because it's flying food. And it's not a thing. I only learned yesterday from Isaac. You cannot really? say flying food, they won't understand. Then really? they think it's like chicken or... <laughs> it's poultry. Yeah. So in English, it's fingering food. <laughs> yeah, guys. Write it down. Then I was really upset that there was no proper food and I get very hangry. I've been to events where there's no water, just tap water, besides alcohol. This, drinks. I think this should be illegal. I remember I went to this huge event in New York and it was like so many people, it was a big event and I was like, just give me water, like any water, I just literally any type of water. They didn't have anything. And I'm like, this is illegal. You have so many people here, they're gonna faint. Like this is a huge event, you need to have water. Like this should be the minimum. Isaac, can you do a cartwheel? Show us. How do you do it? 
You go oh, like this. Like wow. <laughs> wow, not bad, not bad. Drew, what are you doing? going back to Europe tomorrow so tomorrow I have my last day in New York this year which I'm so I don't know I'm very happy to go back to Europe but I just love New York so much I don't want to leave I don't want to leave what are you looking for the most shopping in Europe <laughs> why because I cannot shop in the US. Everything is like so much more expensive. So it would be, it just doesn't make any sense to shop here. So obviously I'm most excited about shopping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously, I've mentioned this a thousand times before. I am so excited to see my family. I am so excited to see my friends. And I'm so excited to see the places that I go to because I feel like I've evolved so much in the last six weeks. And you know, it's so nice to revisit familiar places because you see them with new eyes. And I love that. I love when you like leave a place and after a certain while you come back and you see, you experience it differently. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> um, guys, I'm currently reading Taylor Swift's article, Person of the Year on time i have to throw my phone because she's she blows my mind she blows my mind how can i channel just one percent of her brilliancy i literally ordered three of the magazines why it's, three it's three different covers and i have to have all the covers i literally like i was reading through it and i was like okay i have to reread it because there are so many really good quotes and ah oh, she's incredible i'm like do you want to share a particular quote okay actually that's a good one because i just read it oh i would love to show you a TikTok. did you see it i just sent it to you no have y'all seen Taylor Swift's Person of the Year interview? I'm coach. I am Make no mistake, my career was taken away from me. You have a fully manufactured frame job and an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. That took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really really hard but i've also learned there's no point in actively trying to quote unquote defeat your enemies trash takes itself out every single time have y'all seen taylor swift's person of the year also 
If you follow me, you know that Reputation is my favorite album. And it's the last one, I mean next to Taylor Swift, to be re-recorded. So when this <sighs> comes out, I'm gonna, I swear I'm gonna cry. It's so powerful. <laughs> anyway, are you excited to go back here again? Uh, yes and no. Oh, you're, you love New York as much as me, no? I just like to be here, actually. <laughs> Same. It's, I love it here. I love it. It's just you can go out, you have all your coffee places. <sighs> also, I'm so adjusted to this time zone now. Oh god, yes. Actually, guys, you caught us off guard because it's 10 to 11 and we want to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. To adjust slowly. Okay, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm fixing my roots and I'm going to a new hairdresser that I haven't been to before. But my friend from Dior, she is in like one of the videos, you see her briefly. She goes to him and he did such a nice touch up with her hair that I want to go. But I had so many hair accidents this year, like you would not believe it. Like four times. Okay, three. Three times I got something very different than what I ordered. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be good tomorrow. And what else are we gonna do? So we have the hairdresser. Lots of last minute errands. Shoot, we have to return things. Yeah. I have a life coach session. Uh, lots Pack. of returning. Pack. Pack. <gasps> and we haven't unpacked yet. All right, so time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Um, let's say one more like interesting thing for our viewers. Xenia didn't read in her Kindle once on the whole trip. You again? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, right? <laughs> But I read in my physical book yeah. every single day. Like yeah, I bet she do. did, actually. Yeah, why wouldn't I? But at least we didn't carry around all the books. Oh my god, you're so right. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna pack together. I'm gonna have a pack strategy and I'm gonna show you. And yeah, anyway, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting to say here. Good night. Night.